In this video, you will learn how to take subscription payments in Salesforce using Chargent. My name is Micaiah and I'm from Chargent. If you are a Salesforce admin who wants to learn more about payments and be a superstar for your organization, then you are in the right place. Today, we are starting our demo where I believe all great Salesforce experiences start, and that is with the customer, which in this case is the parent of this cute little furball here, his name's Zappa, and he, he's an Australian cattle dog. So to begin our demo today, I'm acting as his parent who is Stevie Nicks, and she is a customer of Doggo Daycare. She is in need of a happy and safe place for Zappa to be while she is away from home for the weekend. The representative at Doggo Daycare, she has sent this email, and inside of it, I can see the details of Zappa's reservation. And here, there's also a link to pay. When I clicked the link, I was led here to this fully customizable payment page where I can easily make a payment for the reservation. I'm gonna go ahead and enter my American Express card here, and then the page clearly shows me that the payment was successful. And also, back in my email, I've got a receipt, so I have proof of payment, and I know everything's good to go. Zappa's stay at the pet resort, it's bought and paid for. As a customer of Doggo Daycare, I am quite a happy puppy owner. And that was just so simple to pay for my reservation. And by the way, we have made a special checklist for you on 10 ways to make Salesforce payments safe, easy, and profitable. So check out that link in the description below. Now changing roles, I'm gonna put on my customer service hat. As a dog care specialist here at Doggo Daycare, I just need to make sure that the payments have been taken care of for the upcoming stays. And if I search for Zappa's name in Salesforce, I can easily find him, the related reservation, and the associated payment. Right here in charge, and I can see that we're ready to host Zappa. All right, jumping forward in time to about a week after Stevie has picked up Zappa, she called to say that she found out she was gonna need to start going back into the studio two days a week. And she's gonna need daycare for those days each week. At Doggo, we've got a two day a week package that I can offer at $60 per week. Or if customers prefer to pay for the month ahead, it's just $110, as long as they agree to three months. Stevie has chosen the monthly package. And using Chargent, I'm able to enter a recurring subscription payment right here. The Chargent Payment Console pre-populates data from the account, the contact, and the opportunity records. This makes it really easy. All that data is pre-populated, really makes it a breeze for the subscription setup. Here, I can easily validate that the recurring payments, they're set properly. And by clicking this button, I'm taking $110 today and setting up Chargent to take the following payments automatically. Zappa is going to be one happy little puppers, thanks to Chargent, keeping payments easy for both you, the merchant, and for your customers. My name is Micaiah, and here at Chargent, we help Salesforce customers like you be successful with payments. In this video, you're going to learn about nine mistakes that organizations make with Salesforce payments. My name is Micaiah, and I'm from Chargent. Mistake number one that organizations make with Salesforce payments, simply put, they fail to plan. You will need a plan for any data migration, and you need to know what the steps are to ensure your business continuity. Mistake number two is not thinking through how your customers want to pay you. Many project teams, they think through how they want to get paid, but they don't actually put themselves in the shoes of their customers and see how they want to do it. And it's easy for us to think through how we want to take payment, but it's a lot more challenging for us to slow down and think about how our customers want and expect to pay us. And sometimes those could be different things. Mistake number three is not considering bank transfers as an option for your customers. Did you know that there is over 10% year over year growth in the number of transactions being made directly from bank accounts online here in the US? That is huge growth. And these transactions, they're far less expensive than credit card transactions. And for that reason alone, organizations should be considering how to use bank transfer payments. All right, mistake number four, an organization sometimes has a failure to empathize with their customers. As organizations, we fail to put our customers first and we fail to put ourselves in their shoes and to think about what's gonna work best for them. Because ultimately, if we do what is best for our customers, it'll be what is best for our organizations. Mistake number five is not considering your accounting system when you're figuring out your payment system. The two systems, they're gonna to need to communicate, so how is that gonna happen? You need to make sure that you have a plan for this. Mistake number six is going it alone. You should likely have software professionals involved in your project. It's just challenging to come from zero understanding of how these systems work and expect everything to work out properly. There's a lot of gotchas. You want a professional. 
And sadly, not everyone has the right knowledge to make your project work well. Do you want to learn more about Salesforce and payments? Well, if so, we have made a special checklist just for you on 10 ways to make Salesforce payments safe, easy, and profitable. Get the link in the description below. Mistake number seven is not considering level two and level three optimization of your payments. This is something that can save business to business sales organizations a lot of money. And just like we talked about with the bank transfers, if you do this, you can save yourself tons. Mistake number eight is not understanding the benefits of the different payment gateways. Is that payment gateway that you're using helping you optimize transactions? Does the payment gateway that you're considering experience downtime? Many businesses don't study the gateways well enough to make sure that they've really picked a gateway that matches their business or their organization the best. Mistake number nine. It's assuming that all payment processors are equal. They're not. You need to do your research and figure out which one is best for your organization. My name is Micaiah, and at Chargent, we are dedicated to helping Salesforce customers like you keep payments simple. In this video, you're going to learn the top 12 biggest problems that your organizations have with Salesforce payments. My name is Stacy, and I'm from Chargent. Problem number one is that Salesforce customers have a number of systems that just don't work together yet. Instead, they currently have siloed systems, like separate logins for payments, accounting, and inventory systems, though they wish they could have everything in Salesforce. Problem number two is that Salesforce customers need an efficient way to automatically collect subscription payments. If you have more than a few dozen customers who need to be billed monthly, doing it manually without a system is going to be tough. Problem number three is that Salesforce customers are looking for an online payment solution. More and more of your customers expect to be able to provide payment details online. They don't want to call. Problem number four is that Salesforce customers are looking for contactless or in-person payment solutions. For those payments where people come to your location and need to swipe, insert, or tap a credit card or smartphone to make a payment, how do you connect the transaction back to their Salesforce record? Problem number five is that Salesforce customers want to take immediate phone payments. Not everyone wants to pay online. If a customer or donor calls you, do you have a secure way of taking a payment over the phone? Problem number six is that Salesforce customers need help decreasing PCI scope. PCI compliance involves a lot of rules about handling sensitive data and having the right tools in place can reduce your compliance burden significantly. Problem number seven is that Salesforce customers are sometimes walking credit cards upstairs to hand to the billing person to process. Then they have to walk back down the stairs to return the card to the client. Then they do it again if the card gets declined. Problem number eight is that Salesforce customers are having to navigate away from the objects they work in to take a payment. There are often too many screens in Salesforce and too many clicks to get something done. Problem number nine is that Salesforce customers need help reporting on payments. This is especially true when the payments are managed outside of Salesforce or in an app that isn't native. Reconciliation becomes a significant challenge and you can't see what customers have paid in the same place as all of their other information. Problem number 10 is that Salesforce customers have trouble keeping track of their customers' recurring payment standing. Along the same lines, if you have a customer's contact information and products purchased just in one place, but payment status and outstanding invoices in another, your whole team doesn't know who owes money and who is eligible to purchase more. Problem number 11 is that Salesforce customers need more security for their org and customers. Keeping data secure is more of a challenge these days than ever before, especially sensitive data like credit card numbers. Problem number 12 is that Salesforce customers are having to manually process a group of payments each month that could be automated as recurring recurring payments via charge-in. If you don't have a system to manage recurring billing, how many monthly or quarterly payments are you missing out on? And how much time is your team spending manually running payments? And now, check out this next video. My name is Stacy, and at Chargent, we're dedicated to helping Salesforce customers like you keep your payments simple. Remember, at Chargent, we're always here to help.